Okay, let me introduce you to the Lapworks Skycrane. Uh, we've got a uh, 10.2 iPad in it currently, but it will hold anywhere from an iPad mini up to the largest 12.9 iPad. It will hold tablets actually up to 14 inches, uh, as long as they're less than half an inch thick. So it's a really great uh, standing solution. Uh, also, you can use it when you're laying down, when you're sitting on the floor, doing yoga. You can use it at uh, standing height, uh, wherever you would like to be. Uh, the sky crane will follow you there, and you can adjust the uh, angle from landscape to portrait. You can tilt it uh, downward. So if you're lying in the bath or in the bed, this is a really great stand for that. Uh, if you want to have it lower and pointing up, you can do that. There's just a little thumb screw here on the back that lets you adjust that. So, put it back to level. And, uh, oh, uh, another feature. Uh, it's already pretty high, but you can go higher. That's how easy it is to adjust the height. You can also change the angle uh, that way. And it's got these sturdy tripod legs that makes it very stable. So, for wherever you want to use your tablet and you don't want to have to hold it in your hands, uh, you choose the sky crane and it will get the job done. Uh, for iPad mini, up to 12.9 iPad, Surface, Surface Pro, uh, even yoga tablets, uh, as long as they're under half an inch thick, this is your choice. Okay, let me show you how to assemble the uh, Lapwork Sky Crane and start using it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is loosen up this thumb screw that's down at the base. Uh, the base is the end that has these uh, tripod legs. Uh, the top has a, uh, a tablet holder. So uh, work it yourself so that you can follow along. And then you lift the center pole and maneuver the uh, tripod legs out. Then tighten the base. You can tighten that quite firmly. So now we've got a uh, tripod base that we can uh, use to make the other adjustments. So first thing you're going to want to do is loosen the other two thumb screws that have to do with this arm. Lift the arm, give it a bit of an angle, then you can tighten these back up again. There we go. This is a height adjustment in case yours came partially extended, you can lower it down. You just squeeze this trigger and then you can lift it up and down. That also allows you to twist it. So now that we've got that in place, uh, one more thumb screw to operate, this gets a lot easier after the initial setup. So now I'm adjusting the tablet holder and I'm positioning it. You'll notice here that this is a fixed uh, arm and this one is adjustable. So put the fixed one facing downward. I'm going to shift this all over a little bit. Make it a bit easier. Okay, and then, then we'll put in the tablet. So uh, with an iPad or with other tablets, often there's a button up near the corner, so you avoid that corner. You use the opposite corners. And then release the ratcheting arm. And there you go. Your tablet's inserted and you're ready to start using your sky cream. Okay, so once your tablet is in the tablet holder, then it's time to adjust the arm to find a nice balance point. So I'm going to release a thumb screw here that allows this arm to move back and forth. Now obviously if it's way down here, the tablet end is heavier. If it's this far, the weighted end is heavier. So what you want to do is find the middle uh, spot where they're about at the equal weight. So that's a pretty good middle spot right there. Once you have that, then you can tighten up this uh, thumb screw of the arm. And then, when you adjust it, it will stay wherever you let go.